It required overtime tonight here at Hinkle Fieldhouse. And visiting Pitt comes away 68-62 over Butler to go on to the championship series next week of the CBI. Welcome back into Indy. Kenny Rice along with Keno Davis and the winning coach, Jamie Dixon. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, big plays made yeah. by guys down the stretch for you to get you in overtime and then win it. And by young guys, too. And that was uh, what we were looking for and uh, hoping for. And uh, this has been great for us. I mean, uh, Patterson's the guy we're going to ride him. We've rid him, uh, been riding him this last three games, really run, putting stuff, putting the ball in his hands and letting him make plays. Seven assists, ten rebounds. Uh, didn't shoot it great, but made the big three. Obviously, down the stretch, a set play we ran and got him where we wanted and he knocked it down. I thought he'd passed up a couple of them earlier in the game, and he knew then we needed that three. So, uh, Woodall making plays, free throws down the stretch, coming up with the loose ball. Zana, sophomore, coming up with eight rebounds. Uh, a, a lot of good things for our young guys. You know, Coach, you, you talk about the young guys, and, of course, you're in this tournament trying to win the tournament, but you're yeah. also looking forward to next year with the younger guys. And in a night where Ashton Gibbs, right. you know, he doesn't doesn't have his game tonight, the other guys seem to really step up, especially at the end of the game. Yeah, no, as our, our two seniors, I think, had two points between them. So, I mean, uh, we went through uh, uh, running a lot of stuff to our guys. Cameron Wright made some big shots in the first half for us, won the second and uh, it was good for that re that reason. Uh, Trayvon ran the show. We wanted the ball in his hands, and and uh, you know we, uh, we and really Lamar. Lamar's the guy that's kind of emerging as we go here. He's had a good year, but he's really emerged as we, in these last three games. And we're going to him, and uh, we're trying to get him to get him the ball, and, and get Zana the ball, and get Taylor the ball. And so it's 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 a. Uh, it, there is some things, there are reasons why we're doing things a little different, but it's working out well. First time in overtime, they're able to come away with a victory this year. Pittsburgh doing it. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here of how it all unfolded. And especially uh, when we get down the stretch, there it is. Patterson hits it. There's the three you need. Yeah, set play. We've run a couple times, and he passed up some threes, but obviously we needed it there to tie, to, to tie it up. And then Trayvon... Uh, Lamar to start the set, the uh, overtime there, run a set play for him too. So we just r rode him, and then this was a kick out, another set play that we got uh, Trayvon a, a look. And uh, again, that started with Lamar making one of his seven assists. And then a power up, we got the smaller guy on him, and we wanted to go inside on him on that one. So uh, he's versatile, he's a sophomore, and he's gotten better. And uh, that was good patience on the on the play there. The clock, we wanted it down, and we got some penetration rather than settling for a set shot. And uh, Woodall, a jump shot. Yeah, Woodall comes up with 12 for you as you take a look at the final stats there, Coach. Yeah, we talked before the game, Coach, about maybe the most important stat was rebounding. Right. You know, that your, your physical team, you know, maybe not as physical as in years past, but getting that way, and, of course, a physical Butler team, uh, the, the right. game was being called that way, and to come up with the, with eight rebounds has to be a big positive yeah, for you. Yeah, we, we want to out-rebound them. They're a good rebounding team, and uh, we played small at the end, but uh, I thought it helped us. We were double teaming the post, and I think that took them out of rhythm at, at times, but uh, did some good things, adjusted as the game went on, and uh, got our young guys a, a lot of minutes and uh, a lot of play. I think we had bet score, I just saw there was 35 points, so yeah. uh, again, uh, J.J. Moore was terrific as well, a sophomore for us, had uh, uh, I think 14 points yeah, or so. Yeah, Zana so, had 15 uh, off the bench. And, yeah. and, and J.J. Moore getting in that situation where he's knocking down free throws at the end of the game to win it, and that's, that's, a, that's a great experience for him. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Jamie Thanks, Dixon you know. in Pittsburgh. Yes. They're Thanks advancing you. on to the championship of the College Basketball Invitational starting on Monday. Pitt winning in overtime, 68-62. More action coming up out west. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.